Have you ever wondered how to animate 2D characters like Iman Gadzi? Today, we'll break down his signature style and how to animate seamlessly in Premiere Pro step by step. We will start with editing the background. Click Ctrl plus N to open the sequence settings. Select your desired ratio to make a new sequence, then follow these steps to start off. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and zoom out the program window to create this shape properly. Now make the rectangle shape to fill the entire screen and return to the original screen size. Then move over to the window and open the essential graphics tab. Here select the shape one. Then click on the fill color, click on the solid drop down icon and select the linear gradient. For the first color picker choose black and for the second color picker choose a slightly gray color. Then click on OK. Now select the move tool and you will see a handlebar in the program window. Drag the right bar to the top and the left bar to the bottom to create a gradient background. Next we are going to create a color mat and make it black. Now drag and drop the color mat above the shape layer. Then move over to the effects panel and search for grid effects. Apply this effect to the color mat layer. To customize these grids, go to the effect control step. Under the grid effects, you can adjust the grid corners, then set the grid border to 2 or 3 and reduce the opacity to 3%. Again, move over to the effects tab and search for crop effect. Apply this effect to the color matte layer. Under the crop effect, set the value to 8% for all of them, then increase the edge feather to around 100. And our background is complete. Now we can proceed to the next step. You can check Envato Elements under the description to download 12 files for free. Inside the Envato Elements, choose All Items to Graphics. And then browse through the selection and choose a character that fits your project. Then download a character in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop format. You can use a website like Photopea to convert the Adobe Illustrator file to a Photoshop PSD format. Then open the PSD file in Photoshop or continue in Photopea if you don't have Photoshop. Now remove the unwanted part. So hold on to the shift button and drag the mouse hover to select the object. Then simply press the delete button. Now identify all the layers you want to animate such as hands, arms and legs. For example, I would like to animate the head. So again, hold on the shift button and select the part of the head. Then click command plus G to group these layers. Let's rename it to head. Then right click on it and select convert to smart object. Next, select a hand by holding the shift key. It will be the next object we are animating. Rename the layer as hand. Now let's select the lamp and rename this layer as lamp. Repeat this process for all other parts you want to animate. So it will give you more flexibility and find assets quickly when animating. Now save it in PSD format. So going back to the Premiere Pro, nest these layers and rename it to background. Then double click on the program window, select the 2D character and open it. Click on import as drop down icon and select the sequence. Open the 2D character bin. Here you will see a sequence with your complete 2D character. Then drag and drop it above the background layer. Select the character layer, move over to the effect controls tab and then adjust the positioning and scale of the character as needed. I would like to flip the character so go to the effects tab and search for the horizontal flip. Then apply it to the character layer. Again, go to the Effect Controls tab to adjust the position. Then apply the tint effect to the 2D character layer for a black and white look if desired. Now open the 2D character nested sequence and look for the specific layer that we are going to animate. Let's animate the lamp first. Now search for the transform effect and apply it to the lamp layer. Then move over to the Effect Controls tab under the transform effect, click on the anchor point. 
and move these anchor points to the joint of the lamp for smoother movement generation. Now move the time indicator to the first frame and make a keyframe on the rotation. Adjust the rotation value carefully. Move the time indicator a few seconds forward and change the rotation value. For a smoother animation, make the last keyframe is in and the first keyframe is out. Then turn off the use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 360. And this is the animation looks like. Now I'm going to animate the hand of this character. So again, apply the transform effect on this layer. Under the transform effect, click on the anchor point and move these anchor points to the joint of the hand. Again, make keyframes on the rotation and adjust the rotation as needed until you are satisfied. Here we need to adjust the position as well. Now make these keyframes ease in and ease out. Then turn off the use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 360. Repeat this process for all the other parts you want to animate until your characters come to life. And this is our final preview. If you want to learn the secrets behind Ali Abdal's editing style, then watch this video to discover his secrets. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for our next video.